Space, the final frontier. This is the two and a half year journey of the build of the Starship Enterprise. Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models and welcome to stage 59 of building the Enterprise D, the NCC 1701 from the next gen. Uh, this is an interesting part. We start on the, the lower section of the saucer section uh, and yeah, this is different and I hadn't even considered when we're thinking about how these are going to be attached, obviously screwed from the outside. I hadn't even thought about, oh of course you can screw them from the outside and then you've only got half the number of panels to actually worry about having to attach without screws going through them. I just assumed that they'd be covering them all on there, which strangely on this one you've got these reflector panels the you know the transporter arrays or whatever which would be prime candidates for having a screw hole through to then cover but they obviously didn't do that uh we've also got a part to almost finish off the first nacelle um and a couple of other interesting pieces to do with the lighting so let's get started uh first of all we're taking this large metal panel uh we're putting the windows on there it's actually labeled one two three and four although one and four and two and three are the same these are different and they're, there's a thicker end and a thinner end. Uh, so the light ones go on the outside and the thick gap goes towards the widest part of the panel. So it fits on there like that. That one then goes next to it. And next to it. Uh, I'm not going to mix these up. I like the way these look just like that. So I shall be leaving them that way around. Uh, interesting that the black ones are actually uh, clear ones painted black. So, uh, yeah, a little bit different for that. Is that the right way around? Have I turned it around? No, it is the right way around. It's just uh, where I've snapped it off is a little bit in the way. So that won't be in a moment. And that's going to be nice large windows on there. Uh, that is being held in place by... That, which is going to have a light coming in from the side of it, obviously, uh, and a couple of AM screws to hold that in place. So let's get two of those out. It's unlikely there's going to be a couple of spare in there, so there's probably one more of those to be used shortly. Uh, these are going in. They're going in straight, as you can see on the edges of these are a little bit undercut. So although the part is angled, Make sure you get the screws in, in the right direction. Get one in, get the other one in, make sure it all lines up before tightening anything down, as always. There we go. Now I'm pretty sure this part is not actually being attached to the saucer section in this issue. Uh, the arrangements of these have to be just right to get everything to fit together properly. So we've got that looking like that now. Uh, one more thing to do with that, with a couple of, or two, a couple more things to do with that. Uh, a couple of the CP screws. We are attaching the phaser array to that already, which is that part that fits in there like that. And it's held in the back with these two screws. That's that, and that's that. And then the last part, we are fixing the transporter emitter pads, which are these little sticky panels on the back of them. Uh, I believe they're both the same. Let's just double check. It doesn't matter which way round they go and which way up they go. They're both going onto there, so let's get a sticky panel unveil, unveiled, revealed on the back there. It's into its little recess there, like that, and the other one on the other side, exactly the same. Not quite straight, they are at a slight uh, angle. They look just like that. 
So I'm quite happy with that. Uh, next up in the instructions, step C, I'm going to ignore for now because that's returning to the saucer build. So I will be doing that in a moment. But first of all, instead of getting the whole saucer out and then having to get the whole saucer back out again, we're going to return to the nacelle. Uh, we're beginning by retrieving both parts of your nacelle build because it is indeed in two parts like that. Uh, we're connecting the nacelle light. Replace it, plugging this into that. Uh, let's use a pair of tweezers to get this wire. Where was it ended up? It ended up there, didn't it? We need to get that further up here. Up there. Which one's it got it coming through? All the way up to here, apparently. So let's try. I should use a couple of pairs of tweezers. And we'll chase it up. See what I'm doing, it makes it so much easier. Come on. Because this is coiled, it doesn't want to move very much. Yep. That will come all the way up to here. And that and that will join together. Obviously getting the right way around. There we go, that's that connected. So the power will be ready to go through from there <coughs> to light everything up. Uh, and that's that, yeah, that's that. We're gonna then attach that together, making sure the wire doesn't get stuck in between anything else. There we go. That will just pop together. Actually, that's that's going through the, the switch is going to be here. So I need to make sure that's over there. This is over here. And everything just fits together, apparently. A bit like that. Uh, bring them together, taking care not to trap any cables between them. Always a good idea. goes together quite nicely that is not quite right that looks like that might be a little bit bent it might not be it might just be the way it's fitting in mm. now that is a little bit bent in place that one I'm gonna to to take that back off and see about straightening that just a little bit don't know if it's don't, it hasn't been jammed into storage or anything so it's probably just got a bit bent in in delivery this is a metallic cast piece so it should be a little bit flexible i don't want to force it too much because you obviously don't want to break anything uh which part is it? it's this part here it needs to come out just a touch. Feeling like that moved just a little bit, which is all I really needed. I think that's better. Once again, make sure the wires go back where they should be. That's it. Hey, yeah, that's better. I'm happier with that. Once the screws go together and hold that together firmly, that will be perfectly all right, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so it's CP screws to hold these in place, three of them. Uh, there's three of them. Get them all in place. I'll go for the middle one first. Lighting. Two in place as well. There we go. Uh, before I do that, I've missed a bit. I, I just saw that there and thought I hadn't done that bit yet. That was the first part before even putting it together for the first time. And I completely neglected it. It's the other side of the light, which goes into this top section, or should I say the bottom section, but I put it upside down, obviously I put, the, put it together. Let's pop that back apart again. Go. Yeah, and that just goes in there with a flat side there. Put that the right way round. 
Yep, that only goes in that way around. That goes there, and that will butt up against the LED there. Give us the little, uh, little blobby out LED, just like on the other side there. So that's that. Right, let's get that screwed back together again. Oh, that's not fighting in there this time. Why is that not fighting this time? Let's try a different one. That, that, that feels better. Try the other side this time then. It's when this nacelle came out back out again, I realized just how big everything is again. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be Pretty impressive. That feels better. It's got some weight to it as well now. And obviously we've got one more of these to do at some point in the near future. That one doesn't feel like that's tightening up, so We'll come back and investigate that but i do want to adjust these again anyway so i should come back and do that off camera just to play around and get things lining up a little bit better uh this is then going to go in place over though covering over the screw holes i'm not going to push that down in place quite yet because as i say i want to get it back apart again but that is that um next time we get the cover for the the battery section I haven't actually got the batteries for it yet. I will be getting those and sort that out in the next few days. So, uh, yeah. But that's that. Um, I'll clear the bench. I'll get the saucer section in. And we'll fit this little part, which is interesting. So I shall see you very, very shortly. Right, back to the saucer section. We're fitting uh, a deck panel. It, we're not actually fitting a deck panel. It says fitting deck panel L106, but we're not. We're just fitting the bulb and that little bracket that holds the bulb in place <coughs> with one of those screws. Uh, it says use the bulb that's loose from the deck, from the bridge section. I can't find it. <laughs> um, I shall turn the lights on and find, the, there we go, the bulb in there that's unattached. And it's all connected up through there. There's no other loose bulbs through there. There's ones around the edge that I already knew about, but I, I'd forgotten that one. Uh, so this is going in there somewhere. Uh, it's being... Oh, the light... Turn the lights back off again. There we go. Uh, it says to stretch the cables out to either side. It's the bending of the wires that close to the bulb I really don't like. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to get it into the right place. So let me just pull that through a little bit more. We'll go around here, through there, into there, going underneath that bit. Is where it needs to go. Uh, so it's going on here. There should be a screw hole. There's a screw hole there, right? So yeah, this is going on top of that, sort of coming from that way. So I need to bend these out. Oh, I don't like doing that. I don't like doing that either. Then that's going to go on there, a bit like that. Eyes underneath. Actually, continue to use some tweezers to do. It. Let me just. Yeah, I didn't break anything by bending it. That's a good sign. So there is a little indentation there that that's going to fit over the top of. A bit like that. Seems to work. So this is going to hold it in place. Although this is round and that's not. Uh, are the round bits for the screw to go through and that bit's going to hold the thing over the top. So let's get a screw through there. Uh, screwdriver through the screw. Let's try. Get that lined up in there. Over that screw. 
screw through the screw hole. Not like that. That's nowhere even near it. Up there. Now oh, the screws come out. Everything's going pear shaped. Uh, let's get the bulb out of the way for now. I'm gonna go there. So yeah, I can get that started just with a couple of turns in there, and then I can find the bulb again. Hopefully that will be just enough to give in there this to fit under without having to undo the screw completely and I think I'm going to have to undo the screw completely but at least I know now where it goes get that jammed in the gap there there we go almost almost that right feels like it's in a place and the screw feels like it's doing up a thing click the switch again the light comes on it needs a little bit of fine tuning to get that where it should be wire bent back out of the way properly and then I can get that tightened up And there we have the way the lighting is going to work. It's going to be held in place without the panel on pl in, in place. And then obviously the panels go over the top of it. So this panel is going to go about there. Is, is that the... These two things line up there. So that's going to go about there. So that's just a gap. It's not going to have a bulb actually fitted to it just going to be a gap that sort of lines up about there and when you flick it on the light comes through two windows or oh, one window a little bit brighter than the other does that mean I've got it not quite in the right angle oh, it looks okay oh the light the thing's over to one side a little bit more than the other so it's going to be one brighter than the other so that's going to go in there like that uh, and that is the end of this first part of the build so thank you very much for joining me I shall see you very shortly for stage 60. And then I think we're attaching this and putting other bits in front of it. So I shall see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.